Hello and welcome to Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with a pre-petrochemicals news show. It is Wednesday, March 20 and Tejal Hode. Our special news deal today is sponsored by Delhi-based Micron Tech. Let's start with energy news. Crude futures displayed a mixed undertone on Tuesday. Brent crude prices edged higher after the American Petroleum Institute reported a fall in US crude oil stockpiles. WTI futures inched lower on concerns that economic downturn may dent fuel consumption. Brent crude prices climbed at $67.61, a marginal gain of $0.07 cents per barrel, while WTI finished at $59.03, a fall of $0.06 cents per barrel. According to Vandanahari of Vanda Insights, crude futures were slightly softer in relatively slow trading early Wednesday in Asia. In tandem with the region's major stock market indexes, most of which had opened in the red amid conflicting reports over the progress of US-China trade negotiations. Open spec NAFTA prices gained at the 569 US dollars per metric ton, CFR files Asia levels a day-on-day -day increase of 9 US dollars per metric ton. Moving on to Asian market update for PP, PE and PVC. In PP, Certain PP grade prices declined by 10 US dollars per metric ton in Far East Asia this week. The price fall was on the back of weaker demand trends in the regions coupled with a sharp fall in PP futures on Dalian Commodity Exchange in China. In Southeast Asia and India, PP prices remained stable. Buying trends were reported at steady amid higher import offers from overseas producers. In PE, this week, SGPE prices in Far East Asia, Southeast Asia and India slipped by 5 to 10 US dollars per metric ton. The price fall was on the back of dull regional buying interest. LGPE prices in Far East Asia and Southeast Asia dropped by 5 to 10 US dollars per metric ton this week. The price drop was mainly on account of weak demand and deals concluded at lower price levels in the region. In India, prices of LDPE remain steady amid tight regional product availability. This week, LLDPE prices in Far East Asia were assessed lower by 10 US dollars per metric ton. Prices slipped on the back of sluggish buying trends coupled with a sharp drop in LLDPE futures on the Dalian Commodity Exchange in China. In PVC, this week PVC prices in China, Southeast Asia and India tumbled between 30 to 50 US dollars per metric ton. The steep price fall was attributed to a plunge in import offers from overseas suppliers and weaker regional demand trends. In India, Formosa Taiwan has offered its PVC resin suspension grade at the 890 US dollars per metric ton levels for shipment in April 2019. In India, domestic producers have reduced PVC prices by 3 rupees per kg basic with effect from March 20, 2019. In domestic market news, market rumors, most market players are of the opinion that PP and PE prices are likely to be rolled over by domestic producers this week. Polymer Update has introduced a news and price analysis on Amazon Alexa virtual assistant using Echo and other devices. The platform lets subscribers check latest news and prices just by asking Echo or any other Alexa enabled device. This is the first of its kind on Amazon Alexa, so do read the kind of questions that you can ask to Amazon Alexa about Polymer Update. Our special news deal today is sponsored by Delhi based Micron Tech, a leading manufacturer, supplier, and trader of fully automatic, semi automatic PET stretch blow molding machine plants, PET molds. PET bottle machines, PET jar machines, compressor, chillers and dryers. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. It is Wednesday, March 20. I am Tejal Hode. Thank you. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Polymer Update and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at Polymer Update. For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon.